Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to a new video on this channel. It's about Sketch. Now, you know that I got a newsletter and the newsletter is based on the MailChimp platform and some weeks ago, some months ago actually, it's quite a long time ago, they sent me this cute little hat. Um, it's really warm and I really like it. It's I even went to the city with it even though it's quite weird and also just funny but I'm going to wear this in this episode to just uh, say thanks to MailGym for sending over this funny hat and we are right now jumping into principle and I want to create a fitness dashboard application and we are hitting A to create a new artboard and it's an iPhone 7 and we are going to just start working with it. Now I would like of course to change the background color, color. we can just leave it white and we will also create a dark version of the UI but maybe we just go for like this color right there and I would like to add a menu icon which we will find in this icon set right here, it's linked down below so you can download it as well. So just look out for the menu icon, then simply paste it. And what we're going to do now is to position it in the upper right side. And of course, since we are in iOS, we need a new status bar. So we go new from template and we're going for the iOS UI design like that. Boom, here we have it. And of course, since we have a light user interface or a white background, we need the black status bar. So we got that, paste it in and position it at the top centered. Just like that, super easy start. And of course, let's also position the menu button in the correct way, in the correct position. Now, of course, we also need a name like a headline and I would like to call it dashboard just like that position it in the center in the middle using this icon and right now after that we are ready to go and fill in some amazing content so what we're going to do is to create a new circle which will uh, which we will use for a like basic overview of the daily process or, or progress. Now, to get rid of the border color and change the background to a gradient, I would like to go for this one, which is like really a cool gradient and we need to copy it. So we have a new version of it with a normal background, just like that. So position it about like this, then change the size to around like that. So we have a, so we have two circles which are centered and we need a background layer which will look like this. It should just slice up these circled icons, uh, these circles and should have the background color of our artboard. Then change the color of the layer of this uh, round layer in the middle also to the background color of our artboard and what we are going to do now is to say that this layer should be a mask and the top layer shouldn't be a mask so just like that so you see now that we only have one half of the slice of course we could also just drag it to the other side so like that so you see now we have just 50% of our daily goal uh, already achieved. So we could write 50% like that. We can change the font weight to, for example, bold or to basically anything you like. Maybe we just increase the size a little bit. You can even go for the fin version and boom, there we have it. 50% of our daily progress is already done. So this is like the background, like the mask. This is the gradient circle and this is the white circle. So we have this top area ready. I would like to add another text layer saying this is like the overall daily progress like that. 
it shouldn't be an underlying mask right there so we have it right there change change it to a fixed width and position it just right there with a smaller size perfect okay so now let's get over to some of the other content elements which will be boxes and we will use these boxes to add some more content to our user interface. These boxes will be colored in red, blue and so on and all of them will feature a different aspect like the distance you've covered, your average heart rate, calories burned and so on. So all of that will be in these different boxes that we are going to create. I'm going to call this uh, like daily progress and right now we are going to create these boxes. So hit U to create a rectangle with some borders already attached like that and we need to copy it on the other side. So right now you see that we don't have any spacings so select both of them, drag them, make them smaller and then we can just go and just place the second one on the right side with some spacing. So that's great. And right now just go for a color you like. Maybe you go just for the colors you have in this bottom area. But I would like to go for some more vibrant colors. We can also select them in this uh, gradient. So vibrant colors as I said. I'm going for a greenish one right there, Spotify green. This color should actually be called Spotify green because they used it first. Just kidding. Right now, going for a like red or pink one. And we can of course just expand that and paste some more content areas below with some different colors of course. So maybe go for a blue one right here and on the other side we can go for purple or orange. Somehow like that. Okay, these are the content boxes and I would like to add some titles and some more descriptions to them as I said. So I'm going to copy this layer right here so we don't have to create new text layers because I would like to just work with these text styles and this is the number of steps we like made on this day so 300 and 3300 3, and we are going to just copy it below should be an auto width and this is as i said oops the steps number Right now we can just change this to regular again, change the size and select both of these layers and change the color to a white. This actually means, because we can't really read it that well, that we will probably change the color somehow to this color. Just make sure everyone can read your content perfectly that's way more important than the perfect or like best color. It's way more important to keep these people reading your content. So these are the steps on the next or maybe let's just finish this one so we have like a small process going on. I would like to add a new icon which is an arrow and we're going to use this arrow for that. Paste it in I'm going to just use the arrow without the folder and I'm going to rotate it by 180 and I will place it just right there. So this means for us that we can go and uh, select like this steps entry or ste steps content area and to see more details. I would like to create a circle just around the arrow and we can go and just go for the background color and this is like our oops our new button 
which will redirect us to the content or to more details. Just like that, super easy. And this is the first group, the first entry. So we can now, actually what we're going to do now is to get rid of them or we can like even leave them in the correct position but just copy our basic layer and position them at the position of these content elements and we're going to add some more details in a second but I would like to just copy it below so we can actually get the background color right before deleting them so oops there we have it like that what we would like to do as I said is to this is the third one and this is this, the fourth one select the background color just like that and right here we need the blue so we can right now just delete both of these layers that we used to see how it will look and we need some better colors for the arrows right there and of course these boxes should display different content so we can say that these are like the I don't know the calories you've burned today just like that calories burned oops here we still need a different color and this is the number of like your average heartbeat should be some somehow like this if, if it's really good and you see and that's a common problem when designing user interfaces that uh, we have some problems going on with the text right here in our case I would just suggest to select the BPM and make it smaller just like that so we get rid of it really easy like this is the average heart rate and I also don't like like the distance or the pattern the padding between the button the arrow button and our text so we're going to make an abbreviation right here and we're going to also say that this is the distance you've covered on this day so we have kilometers and of course we're going to do the same with the kilometer amount like that and it's as I said the distance so so this was super easy the user is able to scroll so he or she can view the bottom entries and as I said I would also like to create a dark version of it oops so we just copy and paste it and of course the first thing that we're going to do is to select the background of the artboard and to change the color to black or gray or whatever you like whatever you feel is good for your user interface so we will need a new status bar so create new from template UI design open it up again and select the light status bar boom align it to the top select also your menu item every every icon you have or every like part of the user interface which looks weird right now has to be changed maybe you have like an app and you want to present it to your client so you need to of course make sure he likes what you're doing and I can only uh, recommend you to, to try out different versions maybe even in, in prototyping so you don't have it so you don't have to create like a real design out of it because if you see like in your prototype already that you are going to need a better uh, like or a different color or a better design then you don't have to create all of that again and again so this is actually working quite fine this was super easy to transform it to a dark version we can also say that uh, we want to work with an gradient right here 
uh, with the gradient layer right here, but we don't want it to be a gradient. We just want it to be white. So I'm going to drag it below our mask and not it's not going to be white, but it's going to have a like gray fill. So somehow like that. So we see that there is still some progress going on on the right on the left side. And we're going to do the same with our light version. Just like that. Of course, we need a different color. Just like that. Super easy, super easy way to get some more perfect uh, user experience right there because of course the user wants to get the full 100% and this is the user interface that we created in today's tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, working with this small workaround to get the gradient working in this circle. Maybe there is a other way, a different way to deal with this. You can of course write that down in the comment section. I would be very happy about that. I'm still very thankful for you guys because making these videos for you is just amazing and I really enjoy it. I hope you have a nice week a nice time and we see us next week in the next video. Bye!